All right, where do you guys want to start? Uh, I guess you're facing a team that just beat Kansas and Lawrence. And that, that's the Big 12. I mean, it, it seems like uh, um, from game to game, uh, anyone's capable. And uh, obviously, uh, they're coming off a great game, which they really, really played well. And winning now in Fieldhouse is uh, a great accomplishment. So uh, they'll be confident and have momentum. Same time, uh, uh, we got to win. So we're excited. And uh, hopefully, we can build from that momentum. Well, uh, a lot of Manu's second half. <laughs> um, he really got on a roll against them and uh, did a great job. But uh, uh, for the most part, we, we, we defended them well. We took care of the basketball. And that will be really important uh, uh, up there because they're really good in transition and they do a good job in pressuring you into turnovers, which allow them to get in transition. The record is what it is, but is it almost freeing to have that back against the wall mentality? Now it's just roll the ball out and let's play as hard as we can. Well, I think uh, uh, that's what we've been trying to do. <laughs> but uh, 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 in this league, uh, playing hard, um, uh, playing well doesn't guarantee wins. So uh, eight out of our ten losses, top 25 teams, and most of them by one possession game. So hopefully uh, we can play hard, uh, hard and smart and make a couple shots along the way. So I feel like our team's getting in a better rhythm offensively, even uh, um, going back to Florida. Uh, we didn't shoot well, but we got good shots. And as long as we're getting good shots, um, hopefully we're going to make more than we miss over the long haul. Scott, what does it say, though, the resiliency to have gut-wrenching losses? Mm -hmm. Kansas, Oklahoma, West Virginia, TCU, but this team keeps grinding. Mm -hmm. And and that's something where uh, uh, you look at a lot of teams when they face adversity, they, they have some 30 or 40 point blowouts and just give up. And we haven't we haven't done that. And uh, that we have four seniors that uh, have done a good job in uh, making sure everyone's competing and playing hard. And um, the guys care about each other. And uh, hopefully uh, uh, we can keep getting better. What does a win do? <laughs> what does it I mean? It allows you to sleep. <laughs> no, it just it just uh, uh, what it does is it 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 gives you confidence, um, gives you gives your players some swag. But uh, most of all, when you put out a, a it's kind of like people if they go to work all week and at the end of the week they don't get a paycheck. It's kind of like, all right, I'll go to work again. Then you go to work again and you don't get a paycheck. You're like. I'm going to try it one more time, but it, it, that's that mentality. And a win is your paycheck. I mean, that's what you work for is that feeling of winning and success. Do you feel like this team has enough power to pull off what you did what, four or five years ago when you were at 2-8? and eight? Well, I think uh, um, we've shown we've, we've had uh, uh, um, – like second half against Iowa State, I believe we're 17 for 22 from two. And, I mean, we've shown uh, uh, capabilities of different players getting hot and scoring, and uh, we just need more consistency out of that. And hopefully, again, if we take care of the basketball, um, we keep getting quality looks, we keep rebounding at a level we've been rebounding, and then the defense is uh, 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 five on five instead of in transition, then we can beat anybody. We know that. And, um it's left to be seen. Uh, I think in that year, too, probably the Big 12 wasn't as, as competitive as is this year from top to bottom also. After the win, I mean, do you think that, you know, stopping the losing streak, do you guys have, you know, the, the swag, the pep in their step, the confidence and all that back? Well, I, it, it definitely it was great to see them yesterday and, and, and see smiles and see excitement. And uh, uh, I know – in the Big 12, the one thing we always talk about is short-term memory. So win or lose, it's on to the next game, and you got to be focused, and, and you got to do everything you can just to make sure you're ready to uh, – otherwise, you don't even give yourself a chance to get a win. But um, I, I, I know uh, our coaching staff was definitely happy to see the guys uh, be rewarded for, for their grind. Did uh, having the early injuries and losing the guys, did that kind of delay – Building a chemistry. Oh, no question. I think uh, um, uh, after after we beat Creighton, um, and then you get to Xavier, and and since that time, it seems like we haven't been able to have people healthy to get rhythm, and and even uh, um, injuries that that weren't always. I mean, Manu had a shoulder for a while, had a hand for a while, and uh, I mean, those are things that that affect you. And, um, so uh, now that we're getting guys healthy and they're able to practice, develop that chemistry, and uh, you go into a game with some confidence and, and, and you're playing well, uh, anything can happen. You've tinkered with your starting lineup a little bit. Uh, you run the, the 
same one the last two games. Do you think you're going to continue with that one? For now, we will and, and uh, uh, see how things go. And uh, that's one thing we'll adjust at halftime. And we've changed uh, uh, lineups there. And that's that's the good thing about uh, um, uh, we had 40 points off our bench last game. And uh, you never know whose game it is. And uh, hopefully, uh, we just make sure we always have some people stepping up. With the game against Iowa State, with the win, you caught them in the standings, and now you're playing Oklahoma State. It's just a game ahead of y'all. I know wins are nice, but is it, it kind of nice to see you, you know, catching these teams and maybe changing how the standings? Yeah, nobody likes being on the bottom. <laughs> I promise you that. So, um, uh, again, we know we know where we're at and uh, uh, what we have to do, and hopefully, we can stay focused and control what we can control. And um, it, it's amazing when you watch when you watch film, though. Like uh, Oklahoma State plays TCU, and they miss some shots, and then those same shots they make at Kansas. One you win, one you lose, and sometimes you're like, as a coach, you even have better looks and you miss them, and not as good a looks and you make them, and that's that's coaching, I guess. When a team loses the kind of games, you, I mean, the tight ones, like you mm -hmm. mentioned earlier, and I'm sure that they can let that bother them. How about you? Oh. Because you have had this nice, I mean, you, everyone knows what your mm -hmm. record stands mm -hmm. for, the resume, mm -hmm. the NCAA tournament, mm -hmm. all that stuff. How does it affect you when mm -hmm. you, on this year, for whatever mm -hmm. reason, there are some on the wrong side? Well, close losses are the worst for, for everyone because you know one, I mean, you're second guessing everything to begin with, but now with the second guess, it's like, okay, we we run this and we score, now all of a sudden it's a tie game. Or you do this, and so it just magnifies everything in a, in a, in a 10 point uh, a win or loss or 20 point uh, win or loss, things aren't, aren't magnified. But in the close ones, you agonize over everything. Um, every offensive rebound you gave up, if we'd have just blocked out, every free throw you miss. I mean, so those, those, those are a lot harder to sleep on. Well, I mean, TJ. Uh, um, uh, what makes TJ so effective is is his scoring ability, and I think uh, he's just getting back to. Uh, I mean, the broken hand that that really affected him, and uh, if it had been the left, it wouldn't nearly affect him as much. And he's just getting back to uh, what he's capable of, and 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 how he was playing, and um, before his injury. So hopefully, uh, uh, he can continue to do that. And as far as bench starter, I we never looked into that. We've we've more been who plays, and when they play, they play well. We've had a lot of great six men of the year that gone on to be NBA players and lottery picks. So uh but when when he's playing well it it, it it's it's big for us because uh this year scoring wise um the games we've lost we've struggled to score. So having someone who's capable of getting twenty, twenty five that really helps you. You talked about going into this last game about getting that consistency back and I think that's what Jake had talked about too. Is this maybe a litmus test of that, you know, you played well and you come back and play another and 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 I think it, that that's probably throughout the league you look at it and um, I think why it's been such a good league is if a team plays bad they usually bounce back and have a good game and um, for the most part we've had uh, one game Kansas State that felt we didn't have that energy um, in this last I don't know seven games um, but other than that we've we've competed and played hard and, uh, just been on the wrong end.